The diocese says it's looking to rebuild trust with the community by releasing the names, but it still may not be enough for those who believe needs, more needs to be done. Just putting the people on blast isn't going to do enough. Even Anthony Weiner, Bill Cosby, Trump, they even have allegations against Trump having sexual allegations, and they're still in their power. Some people believe exposing those accused of sexual misconduct isn't enough to make a true difference. Who knows how much they're going to be doing towards little kids and just victims. Victims are the ones that take it most because of the people of high power. The Catholic Diocese of El Paso is one of the 15 across Texas planning to release the names of clergy credibly accused of sexually abusing a minor, a list that could go back almost 70 years. For that, we're terribly regretful, uh, and we're trying to find the right ways to uh, really exercise this from, from our past and from our future. El Paso Bishop Mark Seitz says it's a move to protect children and restore trust in the Catholic Church and for any victims to have the opportunity to come forward. Perhaps it will be an encouragement to know that we are all, we've already identified certain priests who have abused others. Perhaps it will bring more victims forward and we'll be able to work towards their healing. However, that's still not enough for people who believe more has to be done in order to stop things like this happening in the future. It's a sad factor that happens, but like I said previously as well, it's going to take a miracle to stop it. All we can do is trust in the good people that are still remaining. And have to, hope. Have yeah, hope and faith. To stop honestly. it. And the diocese did not explain what will constitute a credible accusation against a current or former priest. And all the dioceses in Texas will publish their list by January 31st of 2019. Live in the data center, Tatiana Favela, News Channel 9.